Hey Blockheads, this is DJ AK from NK Airplay Radio. And if you love what the My So Cold Whatever podcast crew is doing, check us out too. NK Airplay is an online radio station playing all your favorite hits from the 80s and 90s, especially the ones from those boys in the band, New Kids on the Block. Listen to artists like Boys to Men, Debbie Gibson, Tiffany, boy bands, girl bands, and many more. We play artists that are associated with or who inspired the New Kids on the Block, plus some of the artists that inspired us while we were growing up. Check us out on social media at NK Airplay Radio. And download the Live 365 app for your iPhone or Android phone and listen today. Friends forever, that's what we are. Through the thick and the thin, we're friendship stars. We're banger main buddies from the days of old. We laugh, cry, and hug, friendship solid as gold. My soul could whatever started a year ago. We share our stories, and your stories were told. 80s, 90s memories that give us glee. And on the block party shows, NKOTB. Now our friendship circle has grown by far. Hashtag friends forever, that's what we all are. Boom. And if you don't know, now you know. My soul called whatever for life. Hashtag MSCW Hashtag Friends Forever Yeah Uh, 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 uh Yeah Do you want to just start? Like, get it right into it? Get right into the stories? Yeah, just like, or get right into the episode? Oh, yeah Okay So <laughs> So uh, we had Jeff Timmons on last week. Yes, we did. And it was amazing. amazing. He's amazing. He's a national treasure. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. Like like genuine, you know? Oh, my gosh. So genuine. And I'm just, mm, I'm so happy we got to have him on. I hope we get to see him. And I want to meet his wife. Me too. Me too. Me too. She's a blockhead. Yes. So. That was a great episode, and we look forward to maybe having the other guys on if they would like to come on. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. We're going to put it out in the universe, yep. folks. Yep. You know you know what to do. Throw it on out there. Nick Lachey, I know you want to come on here. You know what you did, Nick Lachey. I mean, come on now. I don't really have a whole lot to say this week. Like, I really don't have a whole lot to say. Like, nothing's really happened, really, besides the Jeff Timmons so, episode. Right. No, I just have a follow up. Oh. The last block party, we talked about like my Botox and stuff and how I oh, wanted to get yes. my lips done. Yes. And I, you guys, I did. I did. She I got did my it. Lips done. And, and I like them. And your eyebrows have relaxed. My eyebrows have calmed down. I don't look so much like the Joker. <laughs> when she first got them, I was like, yeah, I like it. But I was like, what's going to happen? Are your eyebrows going to come down? Like, <laughs> they were like way up Like there. I looked, I looked surprised. You looked very um, surprised. Especially one side. But now yeah. like it's now evened that's out. Perfect. Now it just looks like you just don't have any wrinkles on your forehead. Which I didn't see any wrinkles right. before anyway, so. Well, they were there. Um, mostly when I, like, furrowed my brow. So, that's that. Yeah, I think that's great. I think you guys do what you want to do. I that's would right. be scared. Do what makes you happy, what makes you feel good. Yeah. I just get scared with needles. Mm, um, I mean, it hurt a little bit. Mm-hmm. Which, which one hurt didn't. which one hurt worse your forehead or your lips oh forehead didn't feel like anything okay but your lips hurt that that was like nothing lips okay yeah a little bit um i don't recommend doing it on an empty stomach oh because i thought i was gonna pass out for a second because i was hungry mm-hmm. and then i don't know i don't know what i was thinking but anyway, um, so I would I would recommend eating something first. But mm-hmm. I mean, it was fine. It wasn't like unbearable. My my eyes did like tear up a little bit. Mm-hmm. But I think that's just like the reaction of it. It wasn't like I was going to cry. 
it was just like like oh that smarts right well i'm glad you did it thanks thanks me too i i am i'm getting glasses i went and got my eye yes my vision was really bad oh (laughs) like i didn't realize how bad it was i went and got my eyes checked today and it's pretty bad um now i'm nearsighted so but what happens is when i'm on a computer like all day long I, I start to get blurry vision then. So then I can't see far away and I can't see up close. It's like both. Oh. So, so yeah. So have you picked out your glasses yet? No, no. I'm going to get them from Zenny. If anybody else has any ideas, like where else to get glasses for quality glasses for low price, let me know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hit me up. Slide into my DMs. <laughs> So, yeah. I wouldn't know, but I mean, I think that's kind of neat. At yeah. least you know and it should help you. Yeah. So that's that's all that really happened. That and we got some listeners from the Jeff Timmons episode. So guys, if you're the 98 degrees fans that started listening to us, welcome. Welcome. We welcome you. We welcome you to our circle of friendship. Yes. And podcast is friends is what we are we haven't sang that in a long time no we haven't and uh send us your 90 degree stories yes please do if you have any stories send them my so called whatever at gmail.com yeah so i think we should start Uh, this week is a block party hey hey oh yeah we got an intro let's do it this is brooke and this is nikki and this is my so-called whatever. Welcome to the block party. We leave it out. Nobody. Nope. Not nope, you. Nope, nope. Nope. Not you. Not no. us. Or you. Or you. Um. So let's get into it. Let's do it. Are you reading first? I'm going to read first. I have cool, got cool. an amazing story from our friend Natasha. She's super sweet. I haven't met her in person, but... I've like follow her on Twitter and like we've conversed back and forth on Twitter. So I think she's great. And I'm going to read her story. People. She's a, she's a good egg. Yeah. I'm going to read her amazing birthday party story. So here we go. Hi, my BH sisters. I know there has been a lot of BHs ready for this. My birthday party at St. Charles Wahlberg's with Donnie Wahlberg. That was the happiest moment of my life. Let's start it off with so much going on in the world. This day took me away from all of that. Since me and Donnie always talk about having a birthday together. Oh, well, that's cool. That is cool. The moment finally arrived and at a perfect time. Since I've been a blockhead for 30 plus years, it's always been a dream to have NKOTB sing happy birthday to me. As a matter of fact, all blockheads dream. That is the truth. And sometimes dreams come true. Sometimes dreams do come true because Donnie did sing to Brooke (laughs) and that was amazing. That was was. amazing. We set it up, but it was his birthday a day before and I wanted to come party with him, but I knew everyone would be there. I knew he wouldn't be able to spend the time with me. So we discussed and agreed we would both celebrate our birthdays on my day, which is August 18th. The day arrived. I wasn't nervous, just emotional to see my big brother that I haven't seen since a mixtape tour. I met up with my BH sisters, Jackie, Steph, and Jen, and it was Steph's idea. They put it together. Oh, I love Steph. That's so awesome. Love you, Steph. We took an Uber because there was going to be some partying and alcohol involved. Good, good choice. Responsible. Responsible ladies. You know how blockheads party. Oh, yeah. I showed up to Wahlburgers at the right time. When I went in, Sue, who was amazing and part owner of St. Charles, asked me, are you Natasha? We've been waiting for you. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Nope. Could you imagine? We've been waiting for you. Dead. Natasha. On scene. (laughs) This was my first time in Illinois and at the Wahlburgers. So I was looking around at everything and saying, so this is it. I went out out the doors into the outside patio and there were other people there who were also celebrating their birthday. I sat down and he was talking to other customers. He played it off very well. Like he didn't see me come in 
typical Leo, but the first thing he did was come right to me and gave me the biggest hug. I just cried in his arms like a big baby. Oh, after that, he went around the table and gave everyone a hug. Then we started talking about how everything was going. I asked about Jenny because I wanted to see her again, but she was taping the mass singer. So I asked him about our BH burger, which he said was coming soon for sure. But pandemic really messed up a lot of things for us blockheads and families. Uh, Rob Basic song came on and I actually rapped the first verse. He said he was so amazed by it. He told me he <laughs> loved me and that he knows that I am a diehard fan that holds the BH family together. That made me feel so good because of what I've been through with this fandom. I was thankful that he appreciated it. So we got our food and drinks. Please try the mass Cosmo. It's so good. Trust me, you'll be feeling good. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Then mm, there was, yes. yeah, it sounds wonderful. Then there was a woman who was sitting all alone and Donnie asked if she could come hang out with us. And I said, sure, the more the merrier. This young lady didn't know who Donnie was and decided to come to Wahlburgers for lunch and <laughs> what <laughs> that's amazing she didn't know who donnie was wow i mean and she came to walbers for lunch and said she had to get a tire for her car boy oh boy <laughs> was she at the right place at the right time she sure was to clear things up i can't remember her name because i was highly intoxicated <laughs> Man, Natasha. we've been there we've all been there we've all we've been there we were having fun and he said he had to leave for a second. He would be right back. So I went to the restroom and came out and I started taking pictures. He said to me, what are you doing in here? You're supposed to be outside. I'm in my head asking why I have to go outside. Before I did go outside, we started taking pictures. It was funny because I put the bunny ears like I did to him on a picture in New York. The pictures were hilarious because Mark Wahlberg cut out was basically a photo bomb. <laughs> Donnie sent me back outside, back outside. I also met so many BHs, Kara, Annie, Shauna, Kara, and others that were there. To make a long story short, I waited. Then all of a sudden, here comes Donnie with a cake in his hand with my name on it, getting everybody there to sing happy birthday to me. Oh, all I kept thinking about was what I had been through in life, my physical and mental health and a dream that came to life. I broke down and cried. I know people are like, she's crying over a cake, but only a blockhead understands. Truth. 30 plus yep. years as a blockhead, and I got this and w this wish from new kids. But hey, my favorite new kid singing to me and then holding me like a big brother would do for a little sister that is crying. He also got to talk to my children that were on, and that was on FaceTime with him. He told them, thank you for sharing me on her birthday. Aw, we really started partying. Then we took pictures in the happy place part of Wahlburgers. And for some reason, it told the story of me being fangirling over Donnie since I was 10 years old. And now I'm a big girl. Check out the pictures. After that, we said our goodbyes. I woke up the next day and woke up to my party and our pictures on his Twitter and Instagram. That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that then, really is. That, I, that's crazy. Then I would be like, oh, my God. Like, that would be what she went like what she did was amazing and then like for donnie to post it that's so cool i remember that then that night i was in club quarantine with d nice and he showed me love there people say what they want to say but i'm a proud blockhead and i'm so blessed to have the most awesome boy band in the world and the greatest family in history i've met so many amazing people being here love eternal natasha unique aka detroit underscore gem zero eight we love you, Natasha. Natasha that, was that was amazing. I love that you had a crown because I I always like a good crown. It's true. This is the truth. This is the nothing. Truth. There is nothing wrong with a beautiful tiara. I would really like or to go tiara. to the clubhouse. I'd really like to go sometime. I know it's in Illinois. It's kind of like that'd be fun. But I think we should go because I think it would be fun. I think that'd be fun. That cake looks delish, let me just say. I was just looking at that like, <laughs> oh, I'd like a piece of that cake right now. Yes. Yes. That's well, a, I, I think that is an amazing story. And I'm so happy that you shared it with us. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. 
I know. Thank you so much for sending that in. And guys, check out the website. There's some pictures yes. and a couple of videos too. Yes. So but they cool. are amazing. Natasha, thank you. All right. I'm going to read the next one. Sounds good. This is from Steph. Yay! I love Steph. It is titled, Steph Continues Her NQOTB Stories. And we are so hashtag thankful. Yes, we are. Steph like writes, we, you and me. Yes, like like us. Yes. Like, like the podcast, like my so-called whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. Steph writes... Thank you so much for including me on so many of these Black Party episodes. It's so much fun hearing all these stories. We love your stories. They're amazing. I realize that I have more stories written out and ready to go, but haven't sent them in yet. So here's one. It's not much of a story. So if you can't use it, I totally get it. But I figured I should keep sending anyway. Um, Absolutely. 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 Keep sending all your stories. You've met so many people. Send them all. Yeah. Cruise 2011. This story is basically nothing important and probably not good podcast material, (laughs) but I feel like I can't keep going in chronological order of my NQOTB adventures without mentioning this. Don't get me wrong. It was a great time, but it was basically a four day drinking binge. I feel it. I feel you. I mean, you're, you're, you're You're not not wrong. wrong. No, you're not wrong. For many of us BHs. Right. Including me. (laughs) (laughs) There was a Donnie encounter and a Danny encounter. Two of the four nights I blacked out, but it was the most fun I've ever had. (laughs) I knew a lot more people on this cruise, so we rolled deep late night at those deck parties. I don't remember which night it was, but one of the nights, the California cruises shut that boat down and the DJ played in sync just for us. That's amazing. amazing. We ended up in VIP each night of the cruise where there were free booze. What? And not the cheap stuff. We were drinking Grey Goose every night. Wow. There was also a more VIP VIP, which we were not in, LOL. But free booze? Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Donnie came around a few times, as did Danny, which was nice. But really, free booze. (laughs) I'm pretty sure they ended that after 2011 because I can imagine that was pretty pricey. Also, there was probably a lot of drunk people. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's why I didn't have an open bar at my wedding. It wasn't the money part. It was it that was the drunk. It was the drunkards. It was that I knew something bad would happen. I mean, those airport people. And let me tell you, before we got there, and I don't know if I've talked about this, I remember rolling in in the limo to the reception, mm-hmm. and there were people sitting like with their tailgates down, drinking before my reception outside. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I 100% believe that. Yeah, so I'm telling you, airport people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, and some others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this year was the first time we went somewhere else besides Half Moon Key, because they changed it to a four night cruise instead of a three night cruise. So for that extra day, we docked in Nassau. Ooh. That day was a wake up call for sure. As we sit here in our privilege, we don't really think of the Bahamas as anything other than glamorous. But that day changed it for me. The port of Nassau was actually very poor and pretty sad to see kids at the port selling services like singing a song, braiding hair, selling cheap trinkets, etc. We were very put off by the port itself, so our trip to dry land was very brief. We walked to the Hard Rock Cafe for lunch, bought some souvenirs, got our passport stamped, and headed back to the boat. We also didn't get an official group concert this cruise either. The guys gave us a semi-show right there on the beach in Half Moon Key, and I don't think they have done that since. Oh, wow. Sorry this story is very unstructured right now, because this cruise, although in Keo TV, was definitely more of a four-day party for me. I do remember attempting to smuggle in vodka and water bottles, but we were amateurs and definitely missed the mark and got caught right there at security. Oh, no. <clears throat> but since you are allowed wine, this was when I fell in love with Moscato. I love uh-huh. Moscato. Same Z's. <laughs> On the last night of the boat, we stayed up all night and watched the sunrise as we pulled back into Miami, and it was magical. I think West Coasters tend to fare better in the late nights because of the time difference. 5 a.m. sunrise is only 2 a.m. at home, mm-hmm. so why wouldn't we still be partying? Overall, this was an amazing vacation with a dash of new kids sprinkled in, and I am so glad to have had the experience. Yay! This... This is everything. This is everything and amazing. Um, I'm looking at the pictures right now. 
I love them. I love this picture of you and Donnie. Yes. Like, um, that's perfect. I love the picture, the group picture, because there's a couple girls that are dressed in sailor outfits. They look super cute. Oh, they are super cute. Yes. I would not look so cute in that outfit, but they rocked it. And I see Joe. Hi, Joe. How are you? Oh, she's with Joe. Steph's with Joe. Oh. I love the picture of her and Danny. Danny looks like he's up to mischief. <laughs> he does. He kind of has that look anyway. Yes. I love it. Like his like his smile. Mm -hmm. It's mischievous. I love the picture of her and Donnie. Oh my gosh. I love it. That's like a that's like you put it up in your locker. Yeah, it's such a cash pitch. It's it's, it's such a cash pick. <laughs> Not pitch. Yeah, right. Um oh my gosh, were they Madonna? Because those are awesome costumes. Mm -hmm. um, what a these are Not amazing. Steph, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These are amazing pictures. There's so many, you guys. So you got to go and check them out because Steph tells a good story, but she also always sends along some amazing images. So you got to go on the website, my and check it out. I love that she's wearing an InSync t shirt on the last day. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so oh, Steph I can't wait to meet you one. like in person and, like, I know hug. I feel like I know you so well like I feel like you're like I feel like I know you we have lived through her stories we have we have like vicariously yes <laughs> and they're amazing oh man that was that awesome was Steph. thank you so much and thank you Natasha oh yes yes we're sending us your story too yeah, and you guys, we want your stories. So right. been sending them in, which is awesome. We've been getting some stories, and we're very happy with that. But we want more. We want more stories. The more the merrier. Right. And, and I come think see we, us on TikTok. Right. Please, because we've been TikToking it up. I love TikTok. Brooke loves TikTok. TikTok it's, just a, it's just a fun thing to do. So Right. Totally. Yeah. Yep. All right. So well, that it. was a great episode. Yeah. It's totally consumable. You guys can like listen to it in the car to work. Like you can listen to it on your lunch break. Right. That's how I gauge every like podcast episode that I listen to or like yeah. that I make. And we're gonna, can we're I gonna really to try break? to to do that. Except when we have special guests, because if they want to talk for an hour, two hours, right. I'm gonna let them if, talk. If Jordan Knight wants to come on here and talk for seven hours. Yeah. If he wants I mean, to we'll read do like the phone book, series. That's fine. Oh, he could sing it. He could. Guys, right. real quick. Yeah. Someone that we graduated high school with posted a few days ago. Oh my god. Our project graduation video. Yes. From 1998. And let me tell yes. you right now, that is a moment in time. I didn't that... need to live through that again. <clears throat> I loved every second of it. I know I did, but I didn't like looking at me. But here's the thing. I feel like I did a really good job of dodging the camera most mm -hmm. of the evening. Because mm -hmm. that's what I do. I see a camera and I dodge it. Um, except for at the end. They got me at the end. Mm -hmm. But at that point, it was probably like 5 a.m. Right. And we were like, I don't care. I, we were punchy. I was like, and I'm like, I don't know what I was doing. I was like clapping my hands like an old person i don't know like you were singing you were singing along to whatever the music was and you were like swaying and clapping your hands <laughs> like an old person would yeah yeah but like that's you you do that sometimes i do i do that i do and I do. you always have clearly i'm losing yes. my voice yes i have so but anyway that was a that was a treat this week it really was it really was a treat so that's it, was it nice guys. to see everybody else. It really was. <clears throat> it well for the most part, yes. And I mean, yeah, and some people that are no longer with us. So that was it was nice. Right. I, mm -hmm. Right. There are some few, really. Yeah. yeah. Sad. We're getting that age. You know? We're real but like we're really not. Yeah. You know, it's just like tragic. It is. It is. But it was fun to watch. It was. Well, we appreciate you guys and we love you and totally. we'll be loving you forever. 
Forever and ever. Loving you forever. We'll see you on the flip. Use like you say on the flippity flop. Flip flop. The flippity flop. We'll see ya. See ya. Peace. Bye. Bye.